This video is going to show you how to put your scout uniform on. Please remember to mark your name on uniform to make sure it doesn't get mixed up with anyone else's and place your badges on properly. There's a diagram on our website that shows you where they'll all go. We'll start with the shirt. Always put the shirt on before your kilt. Make sure all the buttons are done up properly. That includes the collar buttons on both sides, the top button and the button on your pocket as well. Pull your socks up all the way to just below the knee with a fold over of a couple of inches. Make sure there's no wrinkles on them. Put your flashes on so that the flashes are on the outside of your leg and fold the top of the sock over your flashes. Make sure you fold your sock over neatly so that you don't see any creases and you don't see the white of the garter below the sock. Like that. Next we're going to put the kilt on. The inside flap crosses over to the left hand side. Run it through the buckle and tighten it up. Take the outside flap and fasten the opposite buckle as well. Now you can see both flaps are showing at the waist. You need to move the inside one behind the front one so it doesn't show. Adjust the height so that it's centered left to right and adjust the height so that the top is just above your belly button. This is one that has been done wrong. You can see the inside flap showing. Put the belt on next. Make sure you adjust it so there's about a finger width of space between the top of the belt and the top of the kilt. This is how not to do it. And this one is far too low as well. This is an example of a belt that is too big. You can see there's a gap between the buckle and the belt. That needs to be tightened one or two notches. To tighten the belt, just tighten it either end of the belt. Bring it to the next notch in. They can be fiddly but if you hold the pin down tight with your thumb after it's through the new hole, it makes it easier. To roll the necky, roll it like this fairly tightly. Make sure you roll it evenly and straight across its length. Don't go off at an angle. And keep rolling until there's only a small triangle of blue left at the end. The back of the necky should be around 5 to 6 inches at most. This one is far too big. This is how it should be. It's only about 5 to 6 inches at the back. Turn it around and before you put it on you want to make sure that the stripes are lined up. Once it's ready, put it on and slide the woggle up to the top. As you slide it you'll see it crumpling the necky as you go. So you need to try and tidy that after it's on. Make sure the necky stripes still line up as best you can and the woggle is still all the way up to the top. Put a lanyard on next. That's simple. Just slip it on over your head, cross it underneath the woggle and pull your necky through. Put the end of the lanyard into your pocket and adjust it so the cross of the lanyard is below your woggle and the knot is hidden behind your necky. Next to the sporn, you don't have to do up the buckle at the back every time. You just need to unclip and clip it up from the front instead. And then adjust it so that it's the right height. It shouldn't be too high and shouldn't be too low. What you're seeing here is just perfect. And that's the finished article. Add some black shoes, not any other colour, and you're ready to go to scouts. Look at the back and the neck is the right length as well. Hope that helps. Make sure you turn yourself out nice and smart every week. We know that uniform is usually on only for arriving at scouts and then leaving again, so it's okay to wear shorts underneath your kilt f to allow for a quick change, but we really do not want to see any shorts showing below your kilt. Make sure they're short enough.